Hey, what's up guys? I'm Phil and uh, welcome back to 3D Japan. And today we're looking at something else, but this is not actually what I'm reviewing. So we're discussing uh, Cubix Vista. Uh, they contacted me and said, hey, we'd like you to check out our service. And what they do is they have a service where you can take a 360 video and upload it and it will generate a 3D model from that video which means you can take your 360 camera and walk all around a large area like a, an entire park or you know, a building and it'll scan that whole building or park or whatever uh, and I said well that's great it sounds pretty interesting unfortunately I don't have a 360 camera so they offered to loan me one So, take a quick look. <clears throat> it's very strange that I'm showing you this, but I'm not actually reviewing it. <laughs> so, they sent along a monopod, you know, basically a, like a big selfie stick. And they sent the Ricoh Theta X. There we go. So, if you've never used a 360 camera, what it is, is basically a really wide-angle fisheye lens on both sides. So when you shoot the video with it, you get a full 360 sphere. So basically, we'll attach this to a selfie stick, hold it up above your head, and walk around your entire area with it. Basically going like in a grid pattern, you know, Going along and then up in the little and back and just back and forth until you've covered the entire area. Okay, so the range from this is about 15 feet. So I hold it up and uh, around 15 feet radius around me uh, is what it's going to scan. So I'm going to you know, walk over this way, <clears throat> and I'll maybe walk forward a little bit, and then I'll walk over this way <laughs> and keep doing that and it will capture everything so let's take it outside uh, there's a local skate park that looks pretty cool so let's take it outside and try to scan that okay here we are out in the park uh, as I mentioned I'm just gonna start recording and then walk back and forth in a grid covering the whole area they do have an app but all it does is remotely start the recording and gives you a 20 minute countdown timer because you can only record 20 minutes worth. While I'm walking, let me mention today's sponsor, PCBWay. Once you finish a scan or any 3D model really, you can upload it to PCBWay and they can 3D print it for you. They've got a big variety of colors and materials. and You could even have it made in titanium. Just check out PCBWay.com for more information. Okay, so once you've got the uh, video recorded, you're going to come back home to your laptop your computer and we'll come to this website uh, this is currently a beta version of Cupix Vista and as you can see I've got several uh, the projects that I've already been working on um, but yep so what you'll do is come over here after you're logged into your account and come up to create new and you're gonna give the project a name I'm gonna call it skate Oops. Let's call it Skate Park 2. Okay, and then we'll click Next. And then we'll click which camera you're using. It only works with these three cameras. Uh, so I'm going to pick the Theta X. And then you can just take your video file and drag it in. Now, I've already got mine uploaded, so we don't need to actually create one. Uh, of course, you can also click Add Files to find it. 
Okay, so once uh, you've got it uploaded, it'll take a little while to upload and then process. And then it'll tell you here, ready to download. And then you can just click download here and you'll download this uh, CPC file. And then it'll tell you down here, you can uh, load the CPC file into this other website. I just <laughs> missed what it said. But here's where we're download it. And here, I'll just uh, call this Skate Park 02. Okay, and we'll save. And that downloads really quick. It's quite a small file, really. And then we're going to come up to the other web page. This is their uh, Vista Point. And there's a little information here, but you'll basically drag your CPC file or browse over to here. And okay, here is the Skate Park 02 CPC. I don't know why there's two of them. But uh, drag that in there. Oh, failed to open file. Hmm. Yeah, I'll drag this one in. Okay, reading data. So this will take a little while to read. And once it's loaded up, we can take a look at it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's ready to go, and we can rotate around. Can, oh, I zoomed too much. <laughs> Let's zoom in with the mouse wheel. And yeah, we can really take a look at it. Uh, all these little circles are uh, points of interest where, I guess because I paused for too long, you can intentionally create one of these if you want, just by uh, standing still for a few seconds. So if we click on one of them, you can actually see where I was and can take a look around. And if I look down, you can see me. <laughs> yep. Okay, and, and you can close that. And yeah, so... um. They have a bunch of tools in here uh, for uh, like measuring and looking at it from different angles and such like that. But what we're looking for is to download it if we want to use it for another project and another program. So we'll come here, file, export. And so here's the thing is uh, we can export a point cloud. Um, but that's not really helpful for us. So uncheck that box. And we can export a mesh. And so if we export an uh, OBJ, it will give you only the mesh. That's uh, no color textures. Uh, and if you want to download a GLB file, you get the mesh and the texture. The problem with that is that there are very few programs that will open a GLB file. I really searched to try and find some. So one of the programs that will open it, uh, it was okay. Here is uh, Microsoft's Paint 3D. The problem with that is that it has been discontinued. Uh, in Windows 11, you can no longer download it. Uh, if you already had it from Windows 10, or if you're currently using Windows 10, then you can get it from the Microsoft Store, uh, the app, and the Start menu. Um, but uh, yeah, it, just know that you won't be able to use it forever. Um, so this is where you would load that. Um, uh, the other program that this will work with is Blender, surprisingly. <laughs> So yeah, uh, if you use Blender, you're golden. But if you want to use another program like Lightwave or Maya or 3ds Max or any of those, then you might be kind of stuck. Uh, you know, not being able to get textures. You might be able to only get the OBJ with just the mesh. But so uh, I'm going to open this up and we'll take a look.
Okay, here it is in Paint 3D. I'm painting on it. <laughs> I want to undo that. So we can zoom in. So the texture's not ideal, but it's not too bad. Okay, pretty neat. Zoom in some more. So this is not like really high res. You could use this uh, for a background maybe, or maybe just as a base for if you wanted to uh, use it as reference to model something or sculpt something on it. Okay, so let's uh, go take a look in Blender and see if that's any different. Okay, so here in Blender, you have to come to File, Import, and it's listed as GLTF 2.0, but you'll see it says GLB here too. Okay, hey, whoa, that's loaded up and it has loaded up sideways. And I do not see textures. You'll have to forgive me, I'm not very good with using Blender. Now, okay, you'll have to forgive me, I don't really know much about Blender, but I know I have gotten it to display textures before. Uh, it's just one of these settings. I just don't really know them. But so you know that it can download, uh, can display textures as we saw in Paint 3D. Um, yeah, it's a pretty low res model, like I said. So yeah, you could use it as in the background or you know as a, a you know, base for modeling something else. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, so that's just the way it is. Um, so it, it works okay. It does a pretty decent job for what it does. Um, considering the fact that you're scanning a really huge environment, I think that's not too bad. Okay, so uh, that's our look at Cubix Vista and how it works with 3D scanning using a you know, fully the 3D camera or a 360 degree camera. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a, a like and a thumbs or a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And we'll talk to you next time.